back for another video, man. Today we about to get down to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Why people get deja vu? You feel saying? If you wanna be locked in with me, go down there hit that subscribe button, drop a like. This video already long, so I ain't even gonna hold over the intro. But I feel like me personally, bro, deja vu just come from like, bro. We ain't gonna do different stuff every day, so like, probably done did a lot of stuff a whole bunch of times. Or it could be for something else. I feel like really only God know the answer, but. I know we about to see it, bro. Know what he talking about, bro. Um, but yeah, hopefully y'all can stick with me through the whole thing. If not, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. But we just gonna get straight to it, man. Gang. The film Groundhog Day, released back in 1998, is set in the town of Woodstock. No, not that one. And tells the story of Bill Murray's character, Phil Connors, who repeatedly relives February the 2nd. Hmm. Hey, 42 here. The film Groundhog Day, released back in 1998, is set in the town of Woodstock. No, not that one. And tells the story of Bill Murray's character, Phil Connors, who repeatedly relives February the 2nd. Wait, did I do that bit already? Chances are that, like me and good old Bill Murray, you've had that strange feeling where you feel like you've already experienced the situation before, even though you know you haven't. That sensation, of course, is deja vu. And between 60 and 80% of us will experience it at some point in our lives. But what exactly is deja vu? And what causes it? Well, according to Professor of Psychological Science, James Lampinen, deja vu is a strong sense of global familiarity that occurs in a seemingly novel situation. It's that little nagging voice in your head saying, I've been here before, when you know that's not quite the case unless you're eating cheese straight out of the fridge at 2 a.m. We both know it's not your first time. The f I don't know, sometimes, but I be like, I ain't gonna pause too much because the video is long, but I do like, it be like something that happened, it be like not the same thing, but it be similar though, you know I mean? The phenomenon was first named by a French parapsychologist, Emile Borak, in 1876. Never been in this room games. before that somehow feels so familiar? Well then, you must have been here in a past life. Obviously. Either that or aliens vigorously probed you on this very spot. No, Libra. Familiarity. But there are actually several different varieties of the phenomenon to remember. Déjà entendu is the sense you've already heard something that is in fact new to you. Not to be confused with Déjà Nintendo which is when you suddenly remember you've been playing Pokemon for six days straight and need to get a life. There's mm. also déjà pensé, the feeling you've had a particular thought before, when in reality you haven't. Uh, déjà goûté relates to food. And déjà voulu, weirdly enough, is the sense you've desired something, or someone, before, when you haven't. It's important. Uh, that's weird. That's weird, but I feel like that happened to me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But nah, nah, I take that back. No, no, I don't know what he talking about. I don't know what he talking about. To note that day, back in the 1950s, when scientists had free reign to attach whatever they felt like to people's brains, direct stimulation, deja vu, was found to also produce the feeling of premonition, but without granting any actual Great power move. to predict things or see the future in any way. And more recent, less brought to two distinct types. The first, what we'd consider regular deja vu, is seemingly random, and the second is associated with neurological conditions like temporal right, well, epilepsy, a lot to take in, bro. termed pathological deja vu. It's caused by disease or injury of some kind, mm. particularly damage to or malfunction of the frontal lobe. Pathological deja vu is easier to study since it occurs far more frequently in the individuals it affects. And researchers have been able to identify the areas of the brain where Man, the feeling nobody originates. Can play with my brain. Well, pathological deja vu is generally considered to be a little different from your normal everyday deja vu. A kind mm -hmm, of. Well. That's weird. That lasts no more than a second or two. Pat's deja vu was something else entirely. In fact, it wasn't really déjà vu at all, but déjà vécu, meaning already lived. 
We're building up quite the nice little list of French vocab here, aren't we? Nah, that just sounds like he had, maybe he had all timers or something, you feel me? Anyway, as the name suggests, Pat's déjà vécu meant he would believe he'd lived whole with memories, hallucinations, and the products of his own imagination. Epilepsy sufferers often experience bouts of déjà vu during seizures, mm. as well as the experience described as the opposite. I feel like when they have seizures though, like they life like be flashing before their eyes. Like I feel like that's what be happening. Cause I used to know somebody who had seizures and stuff. She used to feel me that she used to say that she used to be seeing like feel me. I ain't finna keep pausing though, cause they theorize the sensation was caused by a kind of malfunction in memory processing. When the human brain is presented with a new scene, it carries out an internal check to see whether elements of the scene have been observed before. That's what I'm saying, like, that's what I be feeling like, like, if you already is, like, you gonna do some stuff more than once, like, you know, you ain't gonna do different stuff every single day, you feel me? I'll explain the mystery then? Well, not necessarily, because other researchers attempting to recreate deja vu have come to their own, sometimes very different conclusions. Deja vu may actually be a healthy and important neurological failsafe that performs a conflict resolution function to prevent false memories from forming. I really want to know who really be like voluntarily getting a brain experiment on, because I know I'm doing that voluntarily. Like, what the freak? The last video low key confusing, like they saying stuff, but they not really saying, because I feel like that's something that you really can't explain, bro. It's just. Feel me? God just right, like, feel me? God just, yeah, I don't know. Interesting as these ingenious lab based explorations of deja vu are, it's also possible there's a much simpler explanation to all of this that deja vu is simply triggered by a forgotten memory. After all, it's well established mm, that less important that than could be true. That could be true. That could be true because they say you don't start remembering stuff till you like five, so. Everything that happened before then, you don't remember. But that could be true. Because, like, you like get a certain smell. You don't know why you know that smell. But you like, oh, I remember that when I was little. But you don't even really remember nothing but that smell. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, them, them smelling collard greens or something. But, <laughs> I don't know what I do. Uh, it's collard greens. Forgotten, <laughs> or at least heavily suppressed. Deja vu may just be the that feeling be we get when something we're experiencing is similar to one of these discarded memories. He also had a suspicion that regular sufferers of deja vu were most likely fixated with their mother's genitals. But let's face it. What? Hey, these science folks be over weird. But one set of genitals into each of his theories. So what? we can probably take that with a pinch of salt. Thing. What get you little freak? What get what? After a short detour through the right hemisphere of the brain, if for any reason the information traveling through the right hemisphere is delayed at all, it could be assigned to the wrong time stamp, giving know. a feeling of familiarity Loki we losing. assume is from long ago, but in reality was from mere moments before. Did the locations that had flashed up, like those creepy transition shots? Hold on, bro. I almost done fell asleep. I almost done fell asleep. Hey, hopefully y'all still with me. If y'all, you feel me? Hey, well, I almost fell asleep. Because you ain't talking about nothing, little boy. <laughs> y'all ain't talking about nothing. Um, I might just end this video right here. Because they not really saying, like, what? But I feel like these one of them questions that you ain't going to... No human ain't going to know. Like, it's one of the questions you got to ask God when you get to them pearly gates. If you make it. But I really do feel like it's just, like certain thoughts that you might have suppressed or you might have seen or just familiar or something that happened when you was younger that you don't know about it's, i feel like it's that one you like the sound of the truth is they're mm -hmm. all still just that Fables. theories facts despite science's best efforts we still don't know for sure what causes deja vu suggesting that people who don't get deja vu may simply be those with better memories Equally, if you consider the fact Probably, that deja vu yeah. is, of course, mm -hmm. I couldn't go this whole video without a quick nod to the more out there explanations. 
like that from the Denzel Washington thriller, appropriately titled movie. Deja Vu, oh, really? where it's the result of FBI-sponsored time travel, and particularly the one made famous by Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah, what's that movie, Butterfly Effect, with um, Ashley Kusher? Yeah, yeah, that, but I think that's two different things, though. We're really gonna use 10% of our brains, so it might be some truth in this, but it is just a theory. I don't know what y'all think in the comments down below. If you learn something from bro, go check him out. Link in the description. Bro made some like interesting videos for real. If y'all really interested in that genre, bro really smart for real. Though. I ain't gonna lie. To all my soldiers out there, man, keep grinding, man. Love, man, love, man, love. I'm gonna see y'all the next one, man. Y'all stay blessed. They said the truth would set you free. But I wouldn't know because I'm my six, I had to keep. I, keep. I lie my heart inside a place without a key. Me and bro the same, they look at man and look at me. I really feel like we only use, they say we only use like 10% of our brains. I'm really trying to use 50.